Welcome to the AmpliChat tutorials. The tutorials will cover all you need to know about AmpliChats. In the first tutorial, we'll be looking at how to get started with AmpliChats. The tutorial will cover the AmpliChats toolbar, how to insert and position charts, how to enter data, how to use the format and the context menus to add details to your charts, how to work with chart elements, and finally, how to format charts. AmpliCharts neatly integrates into the Home tab of PowerPoint. From the main function, you'll be able to insert your desired chart. Next to it, you'll find aligned and adjust functions that not only work on charts, but also native PowerPoint shapes. There's functionality to build structure in your presentation with the agenda. You can set the language across the full presentation in one go. From the drop-down menu, you'll find more options such as emailing or saving uh, individual slide or full presentation as both PowerPoint or PDF. You can clean the presentation, making it client ready. You can insert a symbol. You can insert infographics such as check marks or Harvey balls. You can go to the library to find uh, previously created charts or layouts. You can contact support if you do run into an issue or have a question. Also, you can find help in the user guide. And finally, you can set the default settings in the settings menu. To insert a chart, simply go to the charts menu and select the desired chart. An orange frame appears on the screen and the frame represents the size of the chart. As you see, red lines appear when the chart is perfectly aligned towards either guidelines in the slide master or shapes on the individual slide. You determine the size of the chart simply by clicking the mouse and dragging to the desired size. Once you let go, the chart is inserted to the slide. The blue frame appears around the plot area of the chart. To change the size of the chart, you can pull these blue handles. You'll see the blue handles whenever there's an option of doing changes such as resizing or changing axis, but more on that later. To resize the chart, you can simply pull the blue handle and drag to the desired size. You also have an option of moving the chart simply by selecting the full chart when it's blue and then moving it slightly to whatever position you'd like. Finally, there's also an option to rotate uh, the chart. So instead of having column charts, you want to have a bar chart, you can rotate the chart by dragging this small handle. Ampler charts let you use predefined positions for your charts. To use a predefined position, Select the desired chart, and once the orange frame appears, hit Control. Now the position pane appears, and you can select whatever position you'd like. To enter data to the chart, simply double-click the chart area or go to Edit Data in Excel. The Ampler datasheet is structured in rows representing series and columns representing categories. To change the data in the chart, simply enter the data into the datasheet and you'll see the chart automatically update. If you have data in a different source, you can also copy the data and paste it into the datasheet and the chart automatically updates. The data set had a additional 
category. The additional category is added within the orange frame of the chart, ensuring that everything is still perfectly aligned on the slide. You also have options of linking the data to an Excel sheet. We'll be looking at that and the other data sheet tools in a later video. Amplet Charts has two main menus, which can be found on left mouse click and right mouse click. On the left mouse click, you'll find the format menu. In the format menu, you'll be able to change the font, the font size and the font formatting. In addition, you can change the outline of the chart. When the full chart is selected and you change the font or font formatting, all formatting will be changed on the chart. Moving to the lower part of the format menu, you'll be able to set comma separator, changing the number format. You'll be able to change the category order from sheet order to reverse sheet order. You'll be able to change the series order from sheet order to reverse sheet order. You also have an option of changing from one chart type to a different one. The chart types available all share the same data structure in the data sheet. You can establish an Excel link. We'll be looking at that in a later video. You can change the position of the chart, selecting from the predefined positions. You can apply a theme from predefined themes from the library. And finally, you can change the chart layout from one to uh, one of the Ambler library versions or to one of the predefined layouts you have saved in your library. More on both themes and layouts in a later video. On right click on your mouse, you'll find the context menu. In the context menu, you'll be able to add different decorators to your chart. In the top part, you'll find Kegas, total difference, level difference, and value lines, all of which has a plus sign. The plus sign indicates that several of these types can be added to your charts. When adding one of these, you'll see the menu closes. In the lower part of the menu, you'll find other decorator types, such as connector lines, series shares, and so on. These can be toggled on and off, and the menu stays open until you click the left side of the button. Further down in the menu, you'll find options to toggle on and off series shares, series characters, series names, legend that shows the series, data table, options to toggle on and off labels, such as total labels, segment labels, category labels, and finally, an option to toggle on and off a y-axis. And if one axis has already been added to the chart, a second y-axis. Decorators can be selected for further formatting. All decorators have a left-click menu for formatting and a right-click menu for additional options. Some decorators also have blue handles that can be pulled. As they are pulled, the calculations will automatically update. More on the different decorator types and formatting of these in chart decoration tutorial. Charts consist of several elements which can be selected individually. The main elements are labels, segments, decorators, and axes. When hovering over an element, you'll see an orange frame appear. 
when selecting a element, the frame turns blue and the format menu opens next to the element. All elements will also have a context menu for additional options. Segments are a bit special as you see when hovering over a segment, all segments within that series show up with the orange frame. And when selecting it, you'll select all segments within that given series. To select just one segment, click again, and that individual segment is now selected. To remove labels or other elements, simply select the label or element and hit backspace or delete on the keyboard, or right click on the label to delete the segment label. In order to toggle on the total label and segment label again, go to the context menu, toggle on labels. To multi-select labels or elements, you can hold control. So simply hold control and select multiple labels once selected, you have the format open to format the labels in this case. Another way to select is to select one and then hold shift and ample charts will help you select across series and categories. Charts automatically pick up the formatting of the PowerPoint template. This means that the body font and colors are applied and automatically adjusted to make all labels visible. The coloring logic matches the coloring logic of PowerPoint. This means that accent one will be applied to series one, accent two will be applied to series two and so on. Font color and segment colors can be changed from the format menu. Simply select the desired color from the color picker and the segments will update automatically. Also patterns can be applied, outline can be changed as well. To ensure consistency, themes can be applied as well. To learn how to create and save themes and apply them across the full organization, please see the video tutorial on theme and layouts. Thank you for watching. Please check out ambler.io or YouTube for more videos and tutorials.